Hey, what's up, everybody? Everybody that's joining here live right now, <clears throat> I'm gonna give this a couple more, a couple minutes, like a minute or two before I start really uh, touring the the perimeter of the stadium. Just so you know, I'm at the corner of Polaris and Russell Road, right here. Um, this is where the batch plant was, where the concrete um, uh, was on site. It is already removed. There's uh, uh, asphalt right here. Um, lots to talk about, lots to update you guys about. So, uh, man, just to give you guys a heads up, um, it's kind of like, I know you guys are seeing this on the video and um, it, it doesn't give justice of how, how beautiful and how far along this uh, stadium is. Um, as you see right here, they got the sidewalks already done. Okay. So this is Russell Road right here. Got palm trees all over the place. And then, and this is Polaris Road, the west side of the stadium. Uh, to invent, uh, to prevent people from coming over and, and driving and people, you know, terrorists mow, mowing people over. This is uh, Ariel Zuniga coming to you live. So this is me, Ariel Zuniga. I'm a, I'm an admin for Raider Reaction. So. Like I said, uh, I'm just gonna give it like one more minute and then I'm gonna go ahead and go live and, and give you guys a quick tour around the, around the perimeter. Enough about me. This is not about me, this is about the stadium. Ah, uh, come on. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you guys don't want to see my ugly ass. So, I'm going to go ahead and start walking around the perimeter of the stadium. Once again, this area is where the, the batch plant was. I'm not sure when they took it out, but um, this is where, where they were. They had the concrete mixers and all that. So, mo so all the concrete that's left to do on the stadium site. Design. These are here for the safety and protection of, of, of pedestrians. Um, they, they know that there's going to be here on, um, you know, uh, you know, on the sidewalk. So, so this is just to to keep people safe. Uh, make sure that nobody gets um, uh, mowed down. Um, so, the sidewalk right here on Polaris Road. Um, it's I, I want to say it's about eight to ten feet wide. It's not a, 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 a your usual uh, average sidewalk width. It's about 10, maybe 15 feet wide. Um, so it has a pretty good width for people to come on here for large crowds. Um, there is asphalt here. I don't know if they're going to re, re, um, do it later on. 
but you see there's a lot of little fixtures and shit like that just wanted to show you that this is where the employees uh, walk in they're taking uh covid 19 really serious right here they have hand sanitizers all over the place all these little stands right here these are all hand sanitizers for the employees so that so that they could uh um be safe so that's where they walk in i know everybody's kind of anxious to see uh uh um you know everybody wants to see like the stadium but i want to give you guys a little a little tour of everything that's going on on the outside give you guys a little explanation so as you see there's a lot of um palm trees all these trees right here it's gonna re look really nice you know come throughout the years you, you know these all these uh palm trees and stuff you know they're gonna grow these trees are gonna grow look nice you know so getting closer to the stadium so I was talking to some guy and they're starting to put Right here where I'm pointing at right there where my fingers at right there those those are the generators where where um, where uh, you know it's gonna power all of the, the the stadium that's where all the power source you know um, the air conditioning and all that that's that's all right there right here in this area um, so you got stairs right there and then there's a big driveway that comes down over here. Uh, when when I toured here back in uh, uh, last year in September or October, I should say, whenever we play the the Chargers on a, that that's um, I saw the driveway and stuff like that. So here's a driveway. Right here's a driveway. When I looked, I was like, holy shit. It's been a long time since I've actually been close to the stadium. I've always driven by it, and I'm like, all right, cool, nice, you know. But to actually, like, be this close to it, it's like, holy crap, you know. Um, it's been a few months since I've actually been on the site itself. So it's it's amazing. It's, I'm so amazed on the progress. And, um, you know, we are going to finish on time. So here, I, all this right here, this is all gonna get like like fencing. Um, 
to, you know, so people don't get any crazy ideas to jump over there. Um, so here, all this is going to get concrete. Um, this is all concrete right here where people will, will be able to go into the stadium. This is the, the uh, when we get closer right here in this, this doorway, that's going to be an entrance uh, to the stadium. There it is, Allegiant Stadium, baby. You know, it's funny how, how a lot of people, they, they talk about the, you know, the orange on the sign and this and that. You know, you got to understand, you know, this is, they, you know, they bought the naming rights. So, you know, that's their logo. We got to, you know, we can't complain. You know, we went from number 30th on corporate sponsorship to, I think, number four. Um, so we... We have a lot of corporate sponsors, um, and we're not done. We're just scratching. So it's really interesting right here that we're we're close to the the stadium. So you got these little uh, bars right here to protect you. Shit, right here. You got these bars right here to protect you. And then you got thicker ones right here. Um, so you're gonna have two different um, um, barriers, you know, posts to protect fans. Um, from getting mowed over, um, you know, by any terror. Uh, Vegas is really, really taking all its precautions to um, to really, really make sure um, everybody that comes to the stadium safe. So, right here, you see these these uh, little columns right here. Those are all going to be fenced. These big columns. The only thing I can think of. That, that those are going to be, I think those are going to be light posts. So whenever there's um, night events, um, that the, the um, there's, you know, th those are going to light up and, you know, to give people light to, so they'll be able to, you know, whatever, you know, but the little posts are, are for, for a fence and the bigger ones, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're On, on this side into this entrance um, right away there's gonna be like escalators to take you the, the you know to the 100 section and that means like the fuel level section and um, and then and then there's gonna be like st there's some stairwells to take you upstairs and then there there's some um, escalators right there as well to take you upstairs so this is gonna be one area of escalators right here and stairwells um to go up and down but this is going to be one of the entrances if i'm correct if i
I don't know. I'm assuming they're going to put fencing around this. This is going to be, um, you know, electrical boxes and stuff like that. Breakers and shit like that. So it's kind of fucking ugly. I don't, I don't know. But so as you see, they're putting uh, bars uh, right here. So they're going to fence it off. There's a driveway so that uh, people can, whoever, whatever they need to work on, you know, they can come right here and, and deal with the electrical stuff. What'd you guys decide to do with the car? Well, at least we'll be hungry when we're done. We'll be hungry and thirsty. Hopefully we can find a good spot to get some beer and food. I'm sorry, I'm with my son and, and my and my stepdaughter. I mean, daughter-in-law. I'm sorry, not stepdaughter. Daughter-in-law. <laughs> Corrected. I mean, this is fucking huge. It's, I mean, you guys have no fucking idea how huge this shit is. So like I said, you know, they're really taking all the, the safety precautions for COVID-19. You see these signs all over, all around the stadium and, and stuff like that, you know. So right here, this is going to be an entrance to the parking lot for the people that, that, that have parking passes, right? Here. It's fucking beautiful, man. This place is looking really, really, it's coming together really, really beautiful. So, so now I'm right here on the on the on the sidewalk. I'm still on Polaris. As you see these these trees right here, they look kind of ugly. I don't know how they're gonna look. You know, once they get grown, we cut in a couple years, but. Uh, you see the theme is gonna have be mostly palm trees inside in and around the, the stadium so that's gonna be nice so they're, they're gonna fill up like like more concrete right here that's the curb they're putting the curb around the perimeter right here little by little it widens up right here a little bit more. So, Raiders do take this shit really safety, you know, really, really serious here. And they've always had from the very beginning. No. So right there's the strip, you know, so you can look at how close the strip is to the stadium. Thank you all for tuning in. Please share uh, the video. Um, do you guys got any questions? Let me know. So, like I said, uh, they're either going to finish the, the, the grass, putting in the grass on the field today. If not, by noon tomorrow, they'll be finished. At this point, they probably have like two more rows of, of sod to put to lay out. So, I mean, they're pretty much done. You know, I mean, pretty much done.
So I'm reaching the northwest corner. So this entrance here, this is gonna be, it's close to uh, Polaris. So this entrance here, this is gonna be where, where you're, um, and this is gonna be on the north side. If you see the sidewalk already coming in here, and then you see the sidewalk bending in here. So it's gonna be a two-way traffic deal here. And um, this, this right here, if I remember correctly from going to the uh, um, stadium board authority meetings and all that, looking over the plans, this is where, where uh, ride shares are going to come. You know, the party buses, uh, the buses coming from casinos, picking up people from, from the casinos and stuff like that, Uber, Lyft, all that stuff, taxis. This is where they're going to enter in and out of here. And this is going to be in the north end of, of the stadium. Um, so right here, as you see, this is the north, uh, the north uh, west end. So this road right here, it's on Polaris Road. That's on the north side of the of the of the, of the stadium. And like everything, you know, um, you know, just so you guys know, um, since the beginning of the stadium, they've worked from from the north side to the south side. So if you look right here, they already got um, pavement on the north side. So this is going to be obviously VIP parking space right here. And this is um, on Polaris and... Uh, on the north end of the of the stadium so they already got they already have it paved right here on the north end they got the sidewalk already set um and stuff like that so pretty much uh the north end is uh is already shaping up um they are looking at at a july um um completion date because of the covid 19 I'm pretty sure they had to cancel a lot of a lot of the events that they originally planned, um, you know, concerts and stuff like that. Um, so they're probably they're shooting for the August 1st um, to be to be for the stadium to com be completed. And um, so uh, we're in May, June, July. Yeah, we got about two and a half months and this is all like cosmetic stuff. So um this is stuff that that is easily easily uh ready to you know um like with no worries gonna be finished So I'm reaching Hacienda and Polaris. So I am standing at the at the northeast corner, northwest corner of the stadium. Polaris Road, this road, uh, Hacienda, I mean, um, it, it leads to Mandalay Bay, the Luxor. So people who are staying there. We'll be able to walk over there at probably like a 10, 12 minute walk from, from Mandalay Bay. And they could walk from there, you know, to here. So, like I said, uh, the sidewalk, it's about a good, I want to say 12, 15 feet wide in, in most areas. About 15 wide in, in most areas. Uh, the, the, the thinnest areas are probably going to be about uh, 12 feet. 
So as, and like you, like I said right here, it's already paved in the north parking lot. North parking lot already has has pavement. And they're not done. All these little potholes right here, those are all going to be plants, brush, stuff like that. It's going to be look, look it's going to look come out very beautiful, man. It's a workout coming out here, walking around the stadium, man. I'll, I'll tell you, man. Right now, it's probably about 89 degrees, somewhere in the in the in the, in the high 80s, dry heat. It's pretty hot, man. It's pretty warm. Uh, got my son and and my uh, daughter-in-law. They're from San Diego, and they're they're touring the the stadium for the first time. And, and and you know the dry heat and, and being how hot it is is probably fucking them up more than me, you know. But so get a sign right here. It says Dean Martin Road. If you want to access Dean Martin Road, turn right. So there's a strip looking good looking good D Martin way so this is Alderbrand and it's really like half a block not even half a block maybe a quarter of a block once it curves right here it'll turn into Al Davis way how are you guys doing yeah, how are you? good good are you guys from here from no, Boston, Boston? Yeah. nice nice you just came out here in your RV yeah, yeah. You guys from here? I, I'm, I, I'm from no, originally from San Diego, okay. but you know, grew up Raider fan, and I moved out here four years ago. Oh, wow. So wow. I'm excited. Right now, I'm live on Facebook. Yeah, uh, wow. You know, what do you guys think? Awesome. What are they doing here? Okay. Okay. So these people are here are from Boston. They asked me what this is right here. Okay. So you guys can hear me while I explain this as well. So actually, um, that's gonna be big retractable doors. Um, when they, whenever they have um, um, a, a night game or an, or an event at night, they're gonna they're gonna open it up, and if you see, they're gonna get the view of the strip. You know, they're they're they're, they're gonna get a view of the strip, and so. In the middle there, right in the middle, there's going to be a, a torch, which is called, um, uh, saw that, yeah, the Mount Davis. So it's going to be really nice, like whenever they have a night event, you know, um, you know, Sunday night football or even just a concert. But if it's a football game with the Raiders, the torch will be lit. So people that are on the strip, they'll be able to see that. And people that are, um, that are going to be, people are going to be able to access that area. There's gonna be like a, a, a patio area where people can actually walk out there, smoke a cigarette, whatever, and wow. take pictures. So it's gonna be behind really... that staging. Excuse me. Where, this, where all that metal framework is. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. Well, this is all scaffolding. So, yeah. so if you see, like right there, that little lip over there, yeah. that lip. So from that lip to this lip, that's where the doors are gonna retract. And they have uh, the doors. They actually have um, um, tires like um, like a train. So so it's gonna roll in and out of there like 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 right. if it was a train. Yeah. A big sliding door. Yeah, it is. It is. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. Did you move out here knowing the Raiders are coming out here. Well, when I first moved out here, I moved out here in, in May this month of 2016 and and they had just came out with it's a possibility yeah so um i went to uh, uh, uh 
Southern Nevada Tourism and Infrastructure Committee meeting. And um, and when 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 I went to that, I, you know, hearing like Nevada politicians and mayors and, and the labor unions talking, I knew it was a wrap. And I knew Oakland, it was done with Oakland and the Raiders were like 100% in on this. And I told a lot of people that, that, that it, it was done, that they're coming to Vegas. And a lot of people follow me, they argue with me. Thank you, Mil. Welcome. Wow. But it's crazy. Well, you knew it. I knew. I knew by, by then. It was all. They just you had a goal. You knew it and you are hoping. Well. You wanted it. <laughs> I mean, you know, I wanted them to stay in Oakland. Um, but the politicians out there, they, they're just... You know, yeah. I mean, I, I tell I tell a lot of people all the time what what really happened was um, they they wanted to keep the A's, the Raiders and the NFL told them, you know what, um, sell us the land. Well, first you have to void the ten year lease agreement that they that they give with the A's, which they have a clause for both the A's and and um, the city and the county of, of Oakland, Alameda County. They had the option to avoid the lease uh, ten year, uh, the A's ten year lease agreement, but they didn't want to, you know, and because they required them to do that, to sell them the land, and and um, and, to, and they weren't even asking for no no money. They didn't weren't asking for no. The only thing they asked was that they waive, um, that they waive. Um, uh, all the permits, they expedite all the permits, you know, building permits and all that, the demolition of the original stadium and, and the Arco Arena uh, and all that. So, so they, they uh, that's what they wanted to do. And they, they were like, no, 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 uh, we'll do that. But you have to wait till the A's figure out their situation with their stadium first. And the Raiders were like, no, we're not going to wait for that, you know. As, and as you see, four years later, they they still don't have nothing in place in in, uh, in Oakland. So, imagine they still have to wait. They would still have to wait, and then and then when the A's finally get the situation over there to build the stadium somewhere in Oakland, they have to wait for the construction, and then the Raiders would have to go somewhere and play to demolish everything that was around there. Then. Reconstruct the stairway. I mean, if you think about it, shit, it could be like 2026, 2028. Sounds, like, sounds like California. Yeah, California, Nothing man. Happens. Yeah. You get a lot of uh, a lot of government like they do. So Vegas was all in. The yeah. government was all what was in. What was here? What did they tear down something to build no, this? No, this was a vacant uh, lot right here. You know, dirt. Right here's a strip too. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Uh, well, Vegas has grown in the last 10, 12 years. Yeah, it's, it's not these guys, right? It's like the yeah, fastest it's, growing area in the country. Yeah, think, it's right? nothing. It's nothing like it is right now. I mean, I've been coming out here since I was sixteen. I'm forty-two. Yeah. So it's like it's it's. It's so amazing. Grown what? Double? You think in twenty years, people triple, wise? Triple. Triple in twenty oh, yeah. years. Triple. In 20 years. Easy. Easy. So like Henderson, was that even a town back then? It was like a ghost town. Yeah. Right. Well, there was the east east side of Henderson, okay. and, and and it was a small populated area. Oh, yeah. Really, not a place where yeah, you we wanted drove to live. There to get here, it looked all like really new and really yeah. nice. Well, Henderson has grown. It's really grown. Yeah. It's expanded a lot. Yeah. This whole area. Yeah. Oh. All right, we're going right. to California. Nice all right. Good all right. Good meeting. Good luck. You too. All right, sorry about that. People from Boston are out here taking pictures, really admiring our stadium. They're Patriots fans, but hey, who cares? So, So like I said, this is where they're gonna be drop. This is gonna be the drop off point for people.
Got Las Vegas Metro right here. Wasn't me, I swear to God. Wasn't me. <laughs> no, nah, just right here. Touring the stadium. Filming the, you know, right here. You ready for it? Ready, man. I'm ready. Right. Raider Nation, are you ready for Raider Nation? <laughs> Right, right. Yep. It's gonna, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun times here. I have no doubt. Yeah. All right. You have a good one. Be safe. So here you go. This is gonna be pedestrian walkway entrance. So here's gonna be like one of the main entrances right here. Um. This is gonna be one of the, the main entrances over here, uh, over here. Uh, so all right here, they built this right here, put some beautiful plants and all that. And uh, so I mean, look at all this concrete right here. On the north end, so like I said, these these uh these right here are to protect it, uh, um fans or whatever people coming to the stadium. All these uh things right here, and this was inspired for what happened over there in France and in New York when they had people terrorists over there uh, mowing down people. I don't know if you guys remember that. So when that that happened, Vegas really made it. Um, um, a point to to install these uh so that doesn't happen over here in vegas and this started over there on the strip and then the downtown area so being that there's gonna be a lot of people coming in and out of here um uh this is probably one of the requirements that they put that the that the raiders put on here and this is just for the safety and the protection for for people coming in and out of here so so yeah so here you go. You still have a lot of scaffolding here. Um, don't know why, but you know, still finishing up right here. Still got, you know, concrete work right here. I don't know what's going on right there um, in this area. Basically, they're gonna put up a wall right there. Uh, they said they're gonna put up a wall. And it looks like that like these are gonna be stairs right here. These are gonna be stairs, and those 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 stairs are gonna go for the upper level uh, right here in this area. I think that's gonna be the the 200 area. This is gonna be the one the entrance for the 100 area. So if you're gonna have um, hold this meal. So if if you're if if you're a season, see a ticket holder, your best bet will probably to walk in through here. And then once you walk in through here, you're going to walk in and there's like a shitload of, of escalators going all up right here. This is going to be the main entrance to the stadium right here. So when you come to the stadium, you're going to most likely come into right here the, in, the, in, the, in the north end because this is where, where, um, where all the escalators are at right here. So you're going to have escalators coming up right here going to the, to, to the, to the right side and escalators going to the uh, left side. Maybe I'll post a picture of that later, of when I toured the stadium a few years back. And again, this, this is all going to be fencing right here, fencing poles. And then, and then uh, the thicker poles, that's going to be lighting. That's going to be lights. So whenever we have events at night, this right here is going to be also be uh, um, lights. And it circles around the perimeter of the stadium. So I don't know how the flow of traffic is going to be here. So maybe I'll come back in a couple weeks. Uh, they'll have a more of a progress. So if you look right here, um, 
they're putting uh um the framework the framing to continue the little wave thing whatever and if you see you see the different sections of of the of the sliding glass door so you got one big door and then once that hits it's going to slide over and then boom and then So three doors are gonna slide to the left, and three doors are gonna slide to the left, to the right. So right here, they're gonna put a lot of plants here, a lot of, a lot of shrubs and stuff. So it's gonna be really green. You're gonna have a lot of greenery out here, a really new look, a lot of uh, sophisticated new look. It's gonna be really, really nice. Then they're gonna put more and more plants. Gotta find out what kind of plants these are. With yellow flowers. Probably they're gonna put bushes here. Those shrubs to kind of prevent people from, from walking, from cutting through here. So it'll make it look nice, but you know. All right, so I'm approaching uh, Dean Martin Connector Road. So this is the east side, northeast side. As you see, they got all these trees right here. Try to find out what trees are installing so you guys can get an idea. Right here is about a, I want to say 12, 15 foot, uh, about a 12 foot, um, nah, about a 10 foot width. So right here, you see all this concrete right here. So they poured a lot of concrete in the, on the northern uh, perimeter, I mean around the perimeter on the northern side. Now look at this beautiful stadium. Here, here you go. So here's some more stairways right here. So there's gonna be a lot of access points to get into the stadium. Okay, got some shade. So here's another entrance from the east side. So it looks like it's gonna be accessible uh, two ways. And it connects through here. So you got um, more posts right here where a lot of fans are gonna be walking. So I'm assuming that this road right here is gonna connect to the road out there uh, on the on the west side, and there's gonna be a road going this way uh, around the perimeter of the stadium. So it's beautiful, man.
Happen? Yeah, right there. No, I, I, I kind of already did, but you see how there's like, like three tiers. So it's three doors. Um, that are gonna come this way. So you got one, two, three. Uh huh. So right here you got one, two, three. So what's gonna happen is when they slide, it's gonna catch to the next door. Uh-huh. And then it's going to slide and it's going to catch to the next door. Uh-huh. And then it's all going to come this way. Okay. So it's it's uh, three doors and three doors. Got it. And all of that, all of this is going to open up and get the view of the strip. Um, there's a little balcony area where people can kick back there and, and take pictures and all that. So this is a view that they're going to get, but obviously a pie. So. So the thing about this pandemic, you know, COVID-19, you know, they got to be careful, you know, not to clump up a lot of people in one area, but there's so much ground to cover inside the stadium, outside the stadium, um, and whatnot, and whatnot. So, I mean, right here, you got, you, you got the curbs already being put. All this is going to be uh, concrete. You know, I'm assuming they're going to lay that concrete down pretty soon. There you guys go. So here you go. So as you see, at some point they're gonna pave this, all this right here, that's all gonna be pavement. So they're gonna put a bunch of bushes right here to deter people from trying to cut in here into the stadium. There you go. Legion Stadium, future home of the Raiders. So it's gonna be all trees right here at some point. Okay, so right here, all of this right here, all of this framework right here in this area they're going to eventually put TV screens. Um, this is all going to be a bunch of TV screens all right here. And this is probably going to be one of the biggest jumbotrons in Vegas. If not the biggest, it's going to be one of the biggest. So this is all going to be, you know, they're going to put all kinds of uh, advertisement right here for some of our sponsors, Raider games and stuff like that, future events. It's gonna feature all that stuff. People will be able to see it from the freeway. This is beautiful, man. This is like like really coming through. So I can't really speak. So here we go, hold on, before I, 
hold that thought. So right here, it says uh, Legion Stadium. Welcome to a Legion Stadium construction site. Proud building partners. And he has all their sponsors and stuff like that. So what I was going to ask, I'm not sure really what's going on right here. Um, there is a bunch of walls. I don't know if they're going to allow people to walk there, what those walls are for. Um, hopefully in the future, I'll be able to uh, let you guys know what's going on. Right here, you got fresh poured concrete right here, right here. Um, so they're going to be pouring concrete all, all around the perimeter. They're getting ready for that. A lot of concrete work and like I said they, they removed the batch plant out of here so they're they're outsourcing um, the concrete from from now on I don't know when they removed the, the the batch plant but they removed it so So I'm on the east side over here. It's a whole lot of nothing. So like I said, um, since the beginning of the construction, um, they, they worked from the north end, northeast end to the south end. So that's why it's not, there's really not much going on over here on the southeast side. There's more work on the on the southwest side, but uh, big pile of dirt right here. But uh, so there you have it, man. Um, I'm just walking over here. Um, I want to see if they remove the. the uh, The offices. So how cool is that Raider Nation? I'm ready for another beer, man, for a cold one. Like Debo would say, what you got on my 40, punk? <laughs> Just kidding, Raider Nation. You know, I came out here when um, when uh, when they were first uh, when they first started uh, digging. I'll tell you, man, it's amazing to see you know the project grow. To uh, it's amazing to see the the project grow uh, to where it's at, uh, and. Uh, uh, you know, us people from Vegas, you know, we're really blessed to uh, to see this every day. The, you know, the growth from the the beginning excavation phases to the framing and, and all of that to where it's at now. And and uh, you know, I started doing this to to bring you guys, uh, you know, the, the live coverage. And I'm really happy that. Uh, that I did that because it encouraged a lot of people to do that, you know, to come out here, whether they're Vegas natives or 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 uh, people from out of state, and um, and they would give. They started doing the same thing that I was doing, is giving updates and stuff like that. It was that, and at the same time, uh, my career as a chef took uh, at a, you know other levels, and I just didn't have the time to really come out here. But I decided to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to continue doing that. Um, but uh, maybe I'll do, like, alternate weeks on Mondays. Um, uh, Monday is going to be my only day off. I'm going to start going back to work on Tuesday. So not this week, but probably next week. Um, I'm going to probably start coming every other week to the stadium and maybe every other Monday, um, you know, alternating, you know, you know days uh, or weeks, I should say. 
and um, and I'll, I'll bring you live coverage from the headquarters as well. Uh, tomorrow uh, at five thirty at the same time, I'm gonna go live at the at the headquarters um, to show you guys updates. Uh, maybe uh, you know, uh, maybe Saturday or Sunday I'll, I'll talk more in depth about everything that's going on uh, with the Vegas. I'll try to do a better job in giving you guys like more more updates on Vegas. Uh, but it's really looking good, man. Uh, like I said, I think by by mid July, uh, by by July. They need to be ready. They need to be ready for health inspectors to come in and start, you know, making sure uh, that, and they're gonna go, you know, you know, levels by levels and, and making sure that everything is installed properly and stuff like that. Um, when it comes to new construction, it could be a nightmare, uh, when, you know, when you're stalling uh, equipment, uh, you know, with, uh, especially in, like in the food industry. Uh, you know, these little restaurants and concession stands, it's going to be a pain in the ass to uh, to get all that going and stuff um, because there's a lot of regulatory items. You got to make sure that every, all the specs are right, all the blueprints are right and stuff like that. So uh, uh, the stadium should be ready by, by um, August um, 1st, um, but by July... They should start getting inspections, you know, certain levels and stuff like that. So, real quick before I go, um, so in this area, this is where um, all of the 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 office buildings were. Um, they're all gone. So there's pavement right here. Um, they're paving it. Um, so that's a good indication of where they're at. Uh, so if you see right there, there there's uh, there's curbs already set in place. So the south end is, uh, is already shaping up as far as like the pavement and stuff like that. They still got some heavy equipment here. A lot of scissor lifts. I'm really uh, believing that tomorrow at the headquarters, it'll be a lot quicker. I mean, this is a lot more ground to cover, a lot more shit to talk about. So this is where all the offices were right here. They're all gone. Um, there's a lot of rock. Um, it, it looks like they're preparing it for to continue putting asphalt and stuff like that. So um, probably in about two weeks when I come out here, this will all be paved with asphalt. But we'll see. Uh, all right Raider Nation uh, much love and respect I love you guys be safe out there um, hope you enjoyed this video um, like I said uh, I'll try to tomorrow I will be at the headquarters at 530 again and so I, like I said I think I'll do about 30 45 minutes of that probably won't be probably be more like 30 minutes um i they have a more uh uh covered where i can't really get in there to take uh, a lot of pictures and, and video so we'll see what i can do so expect about a 30 40 minute video you know i had to walk the whole perimeter of, of the stadium so uh so it's 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 quite a it's a quite a hump here but uh it's my pleasure bringing this video to you guys much love and respect. I didn't see any questions or comments. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for, uh, uh, um, you know, for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.